So it's been about eight months that I am running this new channel called The Journey, which you are now watching and you might be already aware of that. And it's been quite the journey. Uh, it started off with me having certain ideas and intentions of what I wanted to do. I tried out different things. I started to feel like I am developing a voice and a direction for, for this channel. Uh, and eventually I came to some different conclusions, which I already spoke a little bit about in the past couple of videos. So you might know a little bit about what I'm talking about. And that's basically me coming to a conclusion that I, I call it, I lack education. And I want to make things clear. Uh, there was a, lot, a bit of a confusion in the comment section of what I mean by I lack education. Uh, I do feel like, because when, I, when you say education, it sounds like a uh, degree in university. And I'm open to that uh, a, a bit later in my life. I'm considering that. That's not my plan yet. But by education, I mean just uh, improvement and establishment of myself in a certain skill set and a proved and valuable skill set. Um, so I came to the conclusion that for my new goals, for what I want to achieve, and mostly that comes down to creating as much positive influence as I can, inspiring people to, best, to be their best versions and live their lives not only for themselves, but also for others. And on top of that, I would add, uh, encourage people to, to have critical thinking. So even then, even here, it's, it's a bit broad. You know, usually when, when you're aiming for something and you wanna make change, I'm coming to a conclusion that it's best to really narrow it down. So even there, I need to put in some work. Uh, but having said that, yes, I came to a conclusion that if I really want to excel at this subject, if I really want to create a positive influence on a major level, that I'm not there yet. I don't have the necessary tools, I don't have the necessary information, but it's not out of reach. And that's the beauty of the world we live in. Uh, there's so many incredible books, there's so many incredible minds who are already exploring similar fields. So why not dive into them and learn what the best of the best can offer and to see if I'll uh, if also, I guess, adding a skill set uh, which is tested and approved and valuable to others and blending those two, acquired knowledge, acquired skill set, uh, the growth mindset and giving something incredible through that or hopefully something incredible, something valuable because, you know, it's kind of clear cut. It's it's obvious that you cannot give something you do not have. And I, I came to admit to myself that I'm still very much on a journey to come to a place where I could deliver something big and unique. I, I feel I was able to do that in the martial arts journey YouTube channel just because of the conditions. Because first of all, I did Aikido for more than a decade. So I had a fair amount of knowledge and, and skill sets there. And then I faced a unique dilemma and I explored it on record, asked the opinions of experts. And you know, a lot of unique value came from the channel. I believe so, I personally believe so. And a lot of people say that, so likely it's true. Uh, but now with my new goals, uh, mo I most likely need, I decided I, it's best for me to take a step back and instead of focusing entirely myself on giving, on producing content, first of all, to gather enough to have valuable things to say. And when I came to that conclusion, my initial instinct was completely stop producing any content, dive into learning, listening to audiobooks nonstop, talking to, with people who are experts of their fields, uh, of the fields which I'm interested in and which are aligned with my vision, uh, do contemplations, you know, just just uh, go through courses, just everything, you know, just, just to, let's reach a new level. And uh, my initial instinct was entirely let go of producing any content. At the moment, that's where people ask me the question. They're like, so uh, Rokas, remind me, how do you get by financially? And the answer is, uh, because it comes up so often, I wanna make sure I say it on record, uh, I get my main finances still from the Martial Arts Journey YouTube channel, a passive income, because uh, there's a lot of videos which went viral there. And that's already quite enough to sustain me financially. I'm not a big spender, so that helps. I also do video editing, which doesn't take as much time. So I have 
space and time on my hands and, and being a financial success is not my priority. So my intention, while I have enough money, I don't have any need or drive to make more money and I can focus all my extra energy on pursuing myself, pursuing to level up in knowledge and skill set, and also making sure I'm a good boyfriend to my girlfriend. I feel that's important as well. Those, those, I, I keep on to a philosophy that those need to play together. Uh, so having said that, that was initial, my initial uh, drive, my initial instinct was to completely stop publishing videos, to not waste time publishing videos. But then I spoke with some people, I got some comments, and I thought about it myself, and I thought, you know, maybe that's not entirely necessary. Uh, maybe I don't have to completely stop publishing videos, which kind of makes sense. You know, this channel is the journey. It is my journey. And I understand that me dabbling about, you know, my contemplations, uh, my explorations, which are active, they're not, you know, they're not kind of at the, they're not at the cutting edge. I'm not yet standing on the shoulders of giants. I'm still climbing the giants to, to get to know what's what, to come to unique conclusions and unique lessons. Uh, but still, that process may be to some degree inspiring. I still have some stories from my life to share, which may be interesting. Sometimes I can still touch the subject of Aikido or rediscovering Aikido. I can, I can, in, I can uh, interview some in interesting people that I meet on the way. And I also thought about maybe reviewing some books uh, because I am planning to dig in a lot of time to spend with with some uh, great books and you know no one is stopping me from just sitting down and talking to you in the camera of what I think about that book maybe recommending it maybe seeing something which you know wasn't sufficient about the book so so I am intending to tone down a little bit my production value my 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 value giving so not focusing all about pushing and giving value and content, but instead focusing primarily on my personal growth, my personal development, my, my mastery of self and of various fields, which includes at the moment coaching, executive coaching and life coaching. Uh, I have said this once on record, but I'll add this again. I'm planning to, I already am, am uh, on, uh, I'm subscribed or enlisted on a eight month coaching course, very high level based in London. You know, I can also share on the camera some once in a while what I learned there. Uh, so there might be some interesting stuff. Again, it's not going to be cutting edge, most likely. Uh, so I'm kind of giving myself, I'm saying and repeating this probably just to cut some slack and, and allow myself to, to admit that, you know, I'll just play around, document some things, and some people might be interesting to, interested to tag along. This is not going to be some major let's make let's make it big on YouTube project, at least definitely not yet. Uh, but who knows, maybe I'll discover some interesting things on the way and once in a while I'll share them on this channel. But aside that, yes, I want to put this on record and kind of summarize and, and let you all know, my intention now is to put forth the intention of studying hard, reading the right books, talking to the right people, exploring myself, getting, digging deep into my own well of developing value, of, of, of gathering and of exploring, of understanding as deep as I can for a while, going through the court coaching course, maybe documenting this and that on the way, telling this or that story, which might be useful, interviewing and talking to this and that person who may be interesting to you as well as not only me. So kind of documenting the journey on the way, but firstly, focusing on my own personal growth, also focusing on my relationship, and yeah, trusting that sooner or later I will be able to climb on the shoulders of giants and look from there and obviously realize there's more giants to climb, there's always more giants to climb, there's never an end to growth, but hopefully reaching a place where I'll be like, oh, you know what, I'm starting to see something which may be valuable here, not only to me, and We'll see what happens with that. So this is an open uh, exploration of and kind of a statement of what's my next plan for this channel, uh, for my journey. Things may change slightly, but I'm quite convinced that this is a good way I already. I'm already like swallowing some books and I'm loving it. 
it's really great to devote myself to, to, to learning new things and, and practicing them. And, and I am journeying for a skill set which would be valuable and I could establish myself in some position where I could be like, you know what, I know this. And if you want some of that, let's connect up. And that may very well be coaching. And right now I don't really have that. I dropped Aikido, I dropped MMA at the moment. You know, I don't have something that I can directly offer to you on a one-on-one -on -one conversation besides just my personal explorations. So it would be nice to have something which is kind of set and, and which would be a bridge between me and you or anyone else where I could be like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at this stuff. I know this stuff, I can give it to you. Hopefully coaching will give me that first step what will be after that, we'll see. And yeah, we'll just see how the journey rolls out from there. So let me know what you think about this, this mindset, about this, these ideas. Uh, if you're interested to tag along and see what comes out of it, tag along. If not, you know, the world is free. There's so much good stuff on YouTube. There's so many good choices. You can always choose something better, something more suitable for you. But that's my intention, that's my plan, and let's see what happens from here.